Hey guys, this is the first tutorial where we're actually going to be doing some coding in C-sharp. Let's begin. Um, we're going to make a program that prints out Hello World. It's usually the first program you learn when any starting any program language because it's easy to teach and it's not very confusing at all. So let's go ahead and go up here. On the little taskbar at the top, there's a button that looks like a piece of paper, kind of, with a star next to it. It says New Project. When you mouse over it, you can click that, or you can go to File, New Project, or click the hotkeys. And um, when you get to this page here that says New Project on the top, you don't want to click Windows Forms Application. That's what it's set to by default. Choose Console Application. And then Name. You can leave it as Console Application 1 as the default, but I'm going to name mine Hello World. And as a convention in C Sharp, everything from method to a class to a namespace, the every beginning of every word in the name is capitalized. S um, and in things like Java or C++ or just regular C, it might the convention is usually different for every language, but don't worry about that. In C Sharp, every word is capitalized if it's a new word. So just hit OK. Um, and then you have this code that's filled in by the um, Visual C Sharp Express. Okay, so first let's add some lines of code, and I'll explain what everything does in a moment. Do console.write line. Again, remember everything is cat. If it's a standalone word in English, it is capitalized in C Sharp. Let's type out hello world, and then. Um, in you have every time you open a parenthesis brace curly brace here or bracket you must close it so you use double quotes for um, typing out words in right line and you must close it with the parenthesis and then every statement you make which is basically just one of these lines of code here you have to end it with a semicolon so in the next line do console same thing dot read line this time Again, you have to have open and close parentheses, and I will explain why either later in this tutorial or in a different tutorial, depending on when it's needed, the information is needed. Okay, um, but I will be telling you about that eventually. Okay, so now you can come up here to this little green arrow pointing to the right. It says start debugging and click it, or you can hit F5. doesn't matter which because it will do the same thing, and here it prints out hello world. Um, to end it, hit the enter button, and um, let, I'm going to start explaining what all this does. Okay, so all these using statements are basically import statements. So whenever you install C Sharp onto your computer, it installs these things called namespaces. They're files with namespaces in them, which you see right here is, oops, namespace, hello world. That is basically for all intents and purposes just a container that holds a bunch of different classes now if you know Java or C++ there are no namespaces in there well there are but in Java there's not but in C++ there is namespaces but um, every program has a namespace and every program has a class um, again the namespace and the, both the class and the namespace for all intents and purposes of right now um, are just basically containers for every program statement you make. Every program statement in C Sharp must be within a class and a program. Now the using statement again is an import statement to import different namespaces. Now the system namespace is one that comes in pre-installed with C Sharp and it's needed to make um, just basic functions like the console if I didn't use namespace system then I would not be able to use console.write line or console.read line and console is actually a class in the system namespace so if I were to open up the file for the system namespace it would say namespace system class console and then it would have some methods that say write line and read line and we'll have to get to that in a different tutorial so and then these just import other parts of that system name uh, system namespace um, obviously this is the namespace hello world because that's what I named it and the class is called program by default again the class is a container for right now and um, your every class every program has to have a main method um, 
whenever C Sharp compiles your program, it goes through and looks through all of your code, whether it's 10 lines or a thousand or 10,000 lines, and it will look for the main method. And if there isn't one, it will give you an error saying that there is no main method. And every time you make your main method, you put static void, and again, Visual C Sharp fills it in for you, but you really need to know what it does. Um, string args stands for string arguments. This is a little more confusing to explain, so we'll have to explain that in a different tutorial. But um, it is important to know that you need it, and we will explain it later on. But for right now, I'm not going to explain it, because it would confuse you far too much. Now the console.write line, that is a method in the console class, like I said, which is a container basically. And um, a method is, shoot, a method is any thing that is inside these little curly braces and has a header, like some something similar to this, that does an action. Methods are actions. Write line takes this text that you type in it and it prints it out to the screen like that. Now the read line is another method of the console class, obviously, because it says console. And um, that will wait for a user input. And until you hit the enter button and do that in type something in the input, like I can type anything I want here and then hit enter and it will just disappear because it doesn't do anything with it because I have no parameters, which are something else I need to explain later. Um, now if I took this out um, and ran it again, it would just, you see how it pops up and disappears? The reason is because you didn't wait till the console to reline and wait for some input from you and it just waited and it didn't do anything and now if you're if you anyone who's watching this knows Java you don't have to do that because the Java runtime environment does it for you but in C++ you use get char or return zero um, C uses return zero get char etc but in C sharp it is console.readline now there's another thing um, when I was in my computer programming classes, there was a statement that my teacher used to tell me that said, if thou openest a curly brace par um, parenthesis or bracket, thou must closeth that parenthesis curly brace or bracket. So if you want to find which um, a good convention, a good not just a convention that everyone does because it's the way it's done, but a good habit to get into is to line up your curly braces. Now I know a lot of people who used to who learned programming before they came out with like eight gigabytes of RAM would put their curly braces online like that and have them on the same line as the start of their method or their class. And people don't do that anymore because we don't have to worry about memory much unless you're writing a big jillion lines of code. So you should always line up your curly brace and if you put your cursor next to a curly brace in Visual C Sharp Express it will highlight the curly brace, the closing curly brace that it matches for you which is really nice but if you're using something else then it's not going to do it for you so lining them up is very important if you really want to make sure you've closed them correctly and you should always have the same number of open curly braces as closed curly braces in any program you make. So um, that's enough of an explanation for this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.